Hey again, it is Dylan, part of Live Life Creative. Thank you for watching this video, spending some time with me. I'm gonna be talking about how you can create, export, and import presets in and out of Darktable. Now, a little clarification, Darktable actually calls them styles, not presets. Um, but I'm gonna be using the word presets because that's more generally well known than saying something is a Darktable style. So looking at Darktable here, a beautiful picture of my cat Tibbles. Oh, he is just the most wonderful cat, the love of my life. Not literally. Um, so I did some edits, you know, did a little color zones, a tone curve, uh, another tone curve to do things, balance, add some colors, contrast, oops, exposure shift a little bit, crop and rotate to even that out and just crop in a little bit. So this is a wonderful photo of my cat and I just love how this looks so much that I wanna be able to reproduce it in the future. So what I do is come back out to the light table view and make sure that that um, is highlighted there. And we come over to the styles module here on the right. And you, you can see I have a couple of styles actually built in already. Well, not built in, I, put, I imported these. T3 Mugen Pack, look at on the internet, fantastic, fantastic. Um, film emulation presets, love them. But we're concerned with this, making a preset out of that. So what we're gonna do is actually hit create here, create his styles from history stack, a selected image. And so this is everything that's included on that photo that's been, that you just edited. Modules order, we don't want that. Crop and rotate, you know, you're not gonna be able to predict exactly how your future photos are gonna be off angle a little bit, so you don't need that. Exposure, same thing. You might be over or under in the future. You don't really know. That's not really the point of a style or a preset, rather. Local contrast, that is something I would keep. Color balance, keep. Curve, curve. Zones, keep. Base curve, no, 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 and no. These are really the artsy parts, artsy parts, <laughs> of the style that I've created so majestically with my cat Tibbles. And so I'm gonna name it. I uh, will name it most beautiful, oops, if I could spell, most beautiful cat Tibbles presets. And description, use for best photos of Tibbles. Just completely artistic right here, right now. Um, and then hit save. So now you can see it comes up here. And one thing that you can do when you are creating uh, styles, you can edit it and brings up basically that thing again. At the beginning, if you do, uh, I'll put my name, Dylan, space, this kind of uh, pipe delimiter, I think it's called, and then another space. So this basically creates a hierarchy within the styles view. So hit save again. You can see my name pops up there, most beautiful cat Tibbles preset. So a little tip on organizing your presets. So now I wanna share this preset with other people. So we do export, brings up this uh, file picker box. I'm gonna to go to my downloads, already created a folder there for styles export and hit save. So now if I look at my downloads, Styles export, most beautiful cat Tibbles preset dot DT style. That is your preset. You can upload this file to the internet. You can email it to somebody. You can save it somewhere for the future. All those good stuff. So now let's say um, I didn't have this. Let's remove it. And yes, want to remove a style. And say I want to bring it back in. So you want to click import and then navigate to wherever your D style, DT styles uh, files are. Click on it, open, boom, it's right there again. That's all you gotta do. So it's a great way if you want to send somebody your presets or if you've got presets from somebody else you wanna use. Um, it's a pretty easy thing, it's pretty self-explanatory, so I hope that's been helpful for you. And uh, keep watching this channel for more Darktable tutorials, uh, other photography tips and tricks and stuff like that. I like to do a lot of it. Uh, hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I think that's just what I said. And uh, join me for more. <laughs> Thanks.